You're looking for a powerful motherboard with modern features that can take your gaming setup to the next level without jumping straight into the ultra high-end segment? Then stick around. Today we're checking out a motherboard that packs a ton of value, even for demanding users. And by the end of the video, you'll know whether this board is really worth it or if you should keep looking for alternatives. So, what does the board offer in day-to-day -day use? Let's start with the core, the socket for AMD's latest AM5 processors. That means you're future-proof, whether you're planning to install a Ryzen 7000, 8000, or even 9000 series CPU. For memory, you get four DDR5 RAM slots, expandable up to 256 gigabytes. Yes, it supports speeds up to 8000 mega transfers per second, making it perfect for gamers, content creators, or anyone who wants top-tier performance. Asus didn't cut corners when it comes to connectivity either. You get a PCIe 5.0 M.2 slot for ultra-fast SSDs, plus two more M.2 slots running PCIe 4.0. The graphics card uses a PCIe 4.0 by 16 slot, not the latest gen, but still more than enough for today's GPUs. However, this is where a minor issue comes in. The product name suggests PCIe 5.0 support for the GPU, but that's not the case. Only the SSD benefits from PCIe 5.0. On the bright side, the networking features really shine. You've got fast 2.5 gigabit LAN and the latest Wi-Fi 6E, meaning full bandwidth, even on the 6 gigahertz band. You also get Bluetooth 5.3, which is great for anyone wanting a clean, cable-free setup. What really stood out to me is the high build quality. Large VRM heat sinks, solid M2 cooling, and sturdy connectors make this board feel robust and well-made. Plus, with features like the Q-latch and pre-installed I.O. shield, Installation is super easy, especially if you're not someone who builds PCs regularly. The software side is impressive too. With Armory Crate, you get full control over fan speeds, RGB effects, and even AI-powered microphone noise cancellation. Sounds like a gimmick at first, but in practice, it's incredibly useful, especially for streaming or Discord calls. Quick side note, some users have reported longer boot times when setting up RAM. Pretty typical for DDR5. Usually this goes away after the initial setup and isn't a deal breaker. In short, if you want a powerful, feature-rich board without jumping into the high-end tier, this one should be on your radar. If you want to take a closer look, check the links in the video description. So what are the pros and cons of this motherboard? Pros, modern platform with AM5 socket and DDR5 support. PCIe 5.0 support for blazing fast SSDs. Excellent networking, Wi-Fi 6E and 2.5 gigabits LAN. Stable power delivery and solid cooling. Great convenience features for easy installation. Cons, no PCIe 5.0 support for the GPU, only for SSDs. DDR5 memory can cause slightly longer boot times. Slightly misleading model name. B650-E sounds like PCIe 5.0 for GPU. If you're building an AM5 system and want a well-designed, high-performance motherboard, this Asus model is a great pick. It offers plenty of premium features without breaking the bank. What really impressed us, the feature set, reliability, and how easy it is to install. Curious? Then check out the deals in the video description. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and let us know in the comments what motherboard you're using right now, or which one you're thinking of getting next.